Hello, good morning. It's morning time. And, uh, you know, I'm out here doing my daily aerokinesis practicing because practice makes perfect. I've been, I've been trying to practice twice a day, and man, it's getting good. It's getting good, good. Ooh. <laughs> um, what are some things that happen? These crazy people, look at these people. People are losers. These men be getting on my nerves. These men, let me tell you something. It's a lot of people out here that practice aerokinesis. You understand what I'm saying? Powers is a is a secret. Just like it's a secret society around here, gang stalking innocent people and taking their kids from them and molesting kids in society. People in the world have have powers. Like for real, for real. Just Google it or motherfucking YouTube it. Aerokinesis, telekinesis. Motherfuckers flip, turning bricks upside down and hammers and shit. It's it's real out here. You feel me? People people getting good at it. Um, there's these guys they be acting like yeah. I mean they're nerds. Like they they've been watching too much motherfucking X Men. They see somebody doing stuff. You know what I mean? Like I said, hopefully there's other people in Florida because I feel weird. You know. In Florida, they look at you like, oh, my God. But really, it's, it's a lot of us out here, my nigga. You feel me? It's a lot. So I don't know why they be making it seem like it's a freak incident. It's not, my nigga. Just YouTube it. You feel me? Excuse me. I'm going to get a little sip of juice. Out. But, yeah. Something weird I saw, huh? It's a lot of, um, I believe it's a lot of homeless, um, families out here and this um the gang stalking game is a very vicious 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 cycle i've been seeing a lot of mamas like families with kids and it'd be looking like they live in a car probably because like i kind of just saw a mama out here like taking a bath for the bathroom which is it's not obvious to think i didn't i didn't show her on camera or anything like that because you know what i mean it's not the kids fault that they got a motherfucking deadbeat ass mama but like the way she was in the bathroom, like it's a it's a like look at the time of day. Kids should be at school. It ain't summertime. And even if it's spring break, if you got a house, you should be bathing at your house. But the the way that the lady kind of took a long time at the bathroom, I could tell that she was kind of like taking a bath or maybe taking the kids a bath or whatever the case is, you know. So do you got gang stalkers out here homeless living in a car with kids? Like that's how that's how low society is right now. You know, your focus should be on trying to get in the... Like, there's a place called Lord's Place here in Palm Beach, Florida. They're making these people, like, people who are in need, gang stock just to get housing. Because they did not need the housing because I'm not a gang stalker. And I'm not going to do no low-life shit like that just to get a house and stay. You feel me? But this mama, she, she looked like she a single mom anyway. And she had a few little daughters. I feel sorry for them because... I'm 100% sure those little girls got sexually assaulted before. Because if you saw what this mama did, the lady put her, like, she put the two daughters on the back of the trunk and was riding out the park with them. <laughs> I'm sitting on the back of the trunk. If you could do that, then you definitely out here letting some grown-ass nigga fuck your kid in the name of gang stalking. You feel me? And it's just like, it's a sad world, bro. Oh, hey, that's sad to me because I'm doing my, my thing. You feel me? My kids might be out there, you feel me, getting molested right now, but... I'm out here fucking the world up just so I could, you know, equalize this shit. I'm a good mama. You got motherfucking deadbeat ass mamas willing to let a nigga fuck their daughter, willing to put their daughter on the back of a trunk, riding in the, the motherfucking child fall off. That child could be ran over or hurt, but it don't matter because, bitch, it's all in the name of gang stalking. Like, you're a fucking bum, man. You're a fucking deadbeat bum motherfucking busted ass mom. And you're doing it for, you know what I mean? That's a person who don't put, that's like self list you're not you know selfish you're selfish you're not selfish i'm selfish like i'm willing to do whatever it takes for my my children you know i'm homeless and i'm waiting and i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna cripple this fucking economy that is my promise i don't give a fuck and i feel sorry for all the people that has to endure too trust me i'm enduring with you baby excuse me but things gotta get worse before they get better but i saw this mama i couldn't believe it I even see, it's a nigga, he be pimping out his son right here at this bathroom. It's an old white nigga 
with a son. And I don't know the story. If his if the if the mother I don't know if the mother of the son is like um at work and while she's at work the man be out here at the park standing in front of the bathroom with the boy because what he be doing is pimping the boy out to the old queer ass niggas that wanna fuck a child in the bathroom. Here at Curry Park in West Palm Beach, Florida, this is what's going on right now. This is this is the society that we're living in. Not only that, you know how gang stalking is. They be having cameras and shit like that follow you. The same bathroom right there, they be watching little girls pee and shit too. Because that bathroom, I, I, sometimes I turn off my phone and I go to the bathroom and they know everything I'm doing. And little girls be using that bathroom. And the thing is that the whole society is aware of everything going on. You know what I mean? Like that's how fucked up. I t- did I tell you that they had this crazy ass white nigga come by my car? To about to, oh, why is she wired like this? Why am I not okay with the way these people are doing things? It's a saying, in a world full of insane, the sane seem insane. And I am as sane can be. I'm going to say it now. I'm going to say it forever. Molesting children and having sex with children and sexualizing children and using children as pawns, it's wrong. But you know what I mean? That's what's wrong with the world. These people are, they're dumb. They mama had them sucking their daddy dick. You feel me? They mama had they boyfriend fucking their kids and all types of shit, beating their ass. And instead of you growing up and saying, my mama did this to me, I don't want to do it to nobody else, you keep the cycle going because you're a fucking dude. You're a loser. You're a fucking idiot. You're a doofus. And it's like, that is where society is. I mean, you don't know the things I've seen. Like, I'm, I mean, I could do a montage. I have a few videos. I have a video of a guy... That a black man, I'm going to post a video today. A black man had a little black boy in the car. He was like four years old, five years old. Running in the middle of the street in, with a shopping cart towards my vehicle so I could smash this child. And it had to be a black person. You see, this is why this is a never-ending cycle. I used to look at the black community and say, you know, why why are black people being shot in the street like dogs? Why is all this stuff happening? You know, why is there's missing and endangered indigenous women? Why is women, you know, being killed and nobody's saying about it? It's because everybody's dumb. Y'all bitches could be dumb, but bitch, I'm not going to be dumb. Bitch, I'm exempt to the rules. Women is getting out, getting killed out here because it's stupid ass women and these stupid ass cults that's sicking the goddamn men on women. I saw a goddamn video from India that these women were cheering on men to rip this fucking teenage girl's clothes off and rape her. And the women were holding her down while the men in the crowd raped her. And that's the society. If you think it's bad in India, you don't want to know what's going on here in America. The women here in these disgusting Masonic cults, they have men go out there in their, their secret voyeur network on the goddamn black web somewhere and they rape you and they they watch it with their husbands like these women are sick and they wonder why you have such a miserable life you know nothing is what it seems there's not a person out there with a happy marriage not one that's why they got the 80 20 rule they they sell you this bullshit 80 20 well you know 80 percent he got a good job he might have a good dick Good retirement, take care of the kids. But 20%, he's a goddamn pedophile, he's a cheater, he might give you some STDs, he might beat your ass, and he's a goddamn pagan, but you know what I mean? Uh, no, I don't know what you mean, nigga. Ain't no 80-20 over here. It's 100%, bitch, what the fuck? These people crazy. They all try to sell you some shit. Trying to sell you pedophilia is good. Trying to sell you that the way society is, is good. Y'all gang stalkers can't even afford gas. Y'all got homeless moms with kids living in the car. Gang stalking. Oh, my God. Where are we? We are. We're not in Kansas anymore, Toto. We're not in Kansas anywhere. Where is this? This must be hell. They got motherfucking homeless ass mom living in the car with her motherfucking kids. Gang stalking. Jesus. Hello. Somebody say something. (laughs) Mm. It's a sad world. It's not even a sad world. The love of money is the root of all evil. 
these people doing this for money. You understand? Yeah. And the Bible is saying, the one that is afraid to lose his life will lose everything. But the one who loses his life for Jesus and for God, you will you will gain your life. You understand? What does that mean? These motherfuckers are scared. Imagine the day and age. I don't know how long gang stalking been happening, but bitch, I'm saying right here, I'm the last motherfucker. I'm the last motherfucking gang stalk. But these people have been gang stalking for years. And the one time that they came to like it was awareness is key, you know? You have to stand up and be aware of your situation. If you're okay with the gang stalking and you're just like, well, I'm just going to, you know what I mean? It's going to keep on going. And the thing is that they were gang stalking me for years, covertly. But um, this year, they decided to overtly gang stalk me. They wanted me to know that they, that they were gang stalking me as if it was going to make me scared. But the thing is, when you know the power that is within you, you're not scared of shit, bitch. I will fuck shit up, motherfucker. So they've been getting stuck me for one year. And in that one year, the economy tanked. Like I said, I, that's something I can brag about. Some people can't brag about shit like that. It's just a coincidence. But we all know ain't no such thing as coincidence. But these motherfuckers gang stopped me. It's been one year. Now we got high ass gas prices. These bitches barely could gang stalk here in Florida. Barely. I just saw this crazy ass nigga gang stalking right now. Let me show you the car. This motherfucker was sitting under the tree. That's how bad gang stalker is. That nigga could barely even afford to. What they used to do was ride around in a circle and gang stalk. Them bitches could barely afford to ride in a circle no more, baby. Not only that, let me tell you, gang stalking is so bad that they don't gang stalk one person. They gang stalk multiple people at one time. And if you ever see their cars all crashed up, it's because when they be gang stalking multiple people at the same time, they be, you know what I mean? They be getting in all types of car accidents and shit like that. But here's the gag. The gag is that this time, everything's going to end. Everything. You feel me? Because they were afraid to be excommunicated from the community. They were afraid to lose their house. They were afraid to lose their car. They were afraid to lose their job. They were afraid for all the bad things to happen. So that's why you decided to do this evil. But let me tell you something. You're not going to avoid the inevitable. All of the worst things that you ever possibly imagined, they're going to happen anyway. You are going to be homeless. And you are going to be in the street. And you are going to lose your house. And you're going to lose your health. You're going to lose your youth. You're going to lose everything. You're not going to have nothing. No more money. I mean, the economy is going to be in shambles. You know what I mean? These people be paying black homeless people to motherfucking gang stop. When everything, when a fall of society happens, who you think going to be robbing your house? <laughs> not me. I'm a good person. The same degenerate that you were hiring to rob people's houses, the same degenerate that's going to be at your house, robbing your ass. And that's how the uh, cookie crumbles. And like I said, society is on a verge of collapse. Gas was $5.09 about two weeks ago. This is the pattern of here in Florida. For a month and a half, they put the gas down a little bit. So it's going to stay at $4 for a little bit. And I was saying in two to three weeks, maybe less, gas going to be five something, close to $6. And when it gets to $6, they're going to try to do the same little thing. And hell, it probably might not even go. It probably might just jump up to $6 straight up. I don't know. But gas going to go up. When gas gets to $6, because $4, $4, these motherfuckers are slowing down the gang stocking, you feel me? $4, they having all types of massive layoffs here in Florida. $6? Child. It's going to be real. You feel me? But when the massive layoffs happen, because just, just think about it. When I say it's the, the straw that broke the camel's back, the economy is already bad. I told them that last year. I said, listen, y'all don't want to go to war with me. I was watching Bobby Bobby Hemet. Shout out to uh, DB from Gangstock and Stimulation. You should definitely watch his um, channel. And he was talking to me about Bobby Hemet. And I, 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 I wrote it down in my notes, but I was like, okay, fuck it. And all of a sudden, on my YouTube channel, a video from Bobby Hemet comes up. And I said, hmm, I remember DB talking to me about this guy. Let me click on his video. And I'm, I'm listening to everything he's saying, and it all makes sense. Like, everything I've always been talking about, he talks about. That we have power. We could just say shit, and it happens. 
Like, these people be, you know what I mean? They be trying to trying to trick you. Like, no, you can't. That's the thing. It's a brainwashing technique. They need to brainwash you. Like, you're not going to brainwash me. I know the power that I have within me. And I'm going to make sure I ruin this economy, you stupid bitches. You're going to be making fun of people, kids, for being molested, bitch? I'm going to be making fun of your stupid ass while you're right here sleeping on the goddamn sidewalk, you stupid fucks. <laughs> These people are assholes. But that's the, that's the irony. The irony is that they're not going to escape what's coming. It's been one year of gang stalking me. I told them they don't want to go here. Even before. Food was already pretty high back then, last year. We was already having a little bit of inflation last year. Gas was a little bit high last year. But this year, everything is higher. And you don't even want to hear the worst part. Do you want to hear the worst part? I'm going to tell you the future. This video is proof of, of all the revelations. First thing first. America is going to lose the war. And this ain't going to be one of those wars where they can profit off the war. They're going to lose. Because those guys are going to bomb all the fucking weapon, weaponry manufacturers here in America and anywhere that America owns. All the fucking infantry places, all the bases. So it ain't going to be nothing. So it's really going to be, you know what I mean? Worthless. Okay, that's first thing first. America loses the war. And any person that goes over there, you ain't never come back, baby. And when they come over here... Y'all same niggas with y'all gang stalking ass, they gonna run. Because let me tell you, cowards can't defend no country. Number two, there's a other pandemic coming. A worse one than the first one. Okay? I don't know if you noticed what's going on over there in China. But them people trying to contain something. They keep trying to contain something. And it's getting worse. Okay? Over here in America, whatever's in China ain't there yet. I heard what's in China is pretty bad. It ain't got here yet. What God told me was, the Spirit told me, is the one that's coming is going to be out here getting the kids. Now, I know it sounds bad, but you got to think about it. The children are better off with God himself. Can you imagine being a child being used as a pawn on earth? These parents are allowing their children to be sexually assaulted, to have to suck dick and get fucked by a man to be a honeypot for the government. Children should not be subjected to shit like this. You understand? Not only that, you got motherfucking parents willing to have their children sit on top of a car while it's running and driving and they might get ran over. In a world like that, the children are already broken. That's how we got what we got right now. You got some broken ass children that grow up as broken adults and they raise more broken children and the cycle will never end. Just like in the beginning of the world when God saw what they were doing, God had to destroy them because that was the only way that we could get to where we are now. Although it seems pretty evil, if God never flooded, flooded the world, I'm pretty sure things would have been absolutely atrocious. You understand what I'm saying? So the next one is going to, the next pandemic is going to be for the kids. I'm just, I'm just letting you know. When you see the children dying, don't really feel sorry for them because it's not really children of the righteous. It's going to be the children of gang stalkers. I don't care who you know. It could be a church member, school school member. It could be, you know, your cousin, brother, sister. That person was using their children to gang stalk. And that's why God took them kids away from them. So I'm just telling you the future that God told me is going to happen. Next, there's going to be a tsunami right here in Florida. And not just Florida, the whole East Coast. That La Palma volcano, these people be trying to hide everything from me. Like it's not going to blow, you know? They don't want me to know what's going on. These people lie to me. You know how, how bad it is when you got a government having to hide the news network from a from a, a woman that's homeless on the side of the road? They might say what they want to say, but let me tell you, when God with you, God with you. They ain't going to be hiding the, and distorting the news for nobody, trust me. Them bitches be out here distorting all types of shit. Because they don't want me to know the truth. But La Palma finna blow. And when La Palma blows, it's gonna blow this motherfucking place out. But from what I heard, I'm not sure, America finna go to the war. Because America likes starting to provoke shit. So when they deep, deep, deep in the war and they got all types of soldiers over there in Europe, La Palma finna blow. But before La Palma blow, they gonna have, they gonna have them some hurricanes, like two or three hurricanes here in Florida. Then the military gonna be out there in Europe. Then La Palma going to blow. And when that happens, FEMA going to be exhausted. They're going to barely have money to, to have disaster relief. 
So they're going to have to choose. Either you want to help your soldiers to see if you can win the war, or you're going to go out there and help the East Coast. You see, because that's the way that we got to plan it. We're playing chess. If it don't happen like that, when this war happens, America is going to keep you know, doing the same cycle. But this cycle has to end. So this time, we got to make sure we destroy them. So there is no more cycles. This is the ending of the age. So the palm is going to destroy a lot of things. And again, the disease that's coming is going to hurt mostly children. And like I said, if you see any children getting hurt or anything like that, them parents was using their kids to gang stalk. Because trust me, the children of the righteous, they ain't never going to get hurt. They're going to be in the same classroom, same church, same marketplace with a child that's a parent is a gang stalker. And that child going to probably play with them all that stuff. And that child be perfectly healthy. But yeah, the gang stalking mama and daddy, they child going to die. And that child ain't going to have no symptoms. But that's, that's how God fashioned things. You understand what I'm saying? The righteous, you know, they have the blood of the lamb. This ain't the Passover where you got to kill a lamb and put the blood on the door. The blood of the lamb is already inside of you. Okay? Okay, so we got the war being lost. We got La Palma. We got the children. So that's the main things that are about to happen right now as we speak. So that's what I know as the future, you know what I mean? But the whole thing is these people, they everything that I just said, they want to avoid. Them losing this war, it's going to fuck up the economy. And it's La Palma and all these hurricanes coming. But this is how things have to be because if it's not like this, we're never going to get out of this contract. You know, imagine being in a contract that you didn't sign. I didn't sign up to be a goddamn pagan. I didn't sign up for my children to get raped. I didn't sign up for none of this. But my parents, my mama did, my grandmama did. They had some sort of unseen contract where they become pagans. And I'm not, I'm not going to pay that debt because, you know, these people are okay. You know, what they're doing is raping you. Mind rape, spiritual rape. You never consented to none of this shit. You never agreed to this. Your grandparents, your parents did. And because of that reason, they're out here trying to force you to become a pagan and to accept children being fucked because they are le- letting somebody fuck their kids. Like, bro, I'm not going to do that shit. It's fucking sick. It's depraved. And I have a humanity. I'm not going to let, you know what I mean? I'm not going to do no disgusting shit like that, man. But, um, yeah, that's the future right there. These gang stalkers, they're not even on their way out the door. They out the door already. I'm just waiting for the straw to break the camel's back. Like I said, they're already down pretty bad, but down pretty bad ain't good enough. We need them to be destroyed. We can never do this again, ever. So, I'm out here going to keep practicing my little aerokinesis, get stronger. But I don't even know if I'm going to keep on practicing for too long. I practiced so much yesterday, my arms hurt. If you if you want to work out, get a good arm workout chest back do air conditioning dog that shit will have your body hurting like somebody beat your ass <laughs> arms are killing me dog 